All right, so I'm out here on the water and I actually just tried to break it down a little bit. What I've learned is that the fish are actually very, very shallow. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upsize my baits, start throwing bigger baits like this 10 inch worm and see if I can catch a big one. Today's goal is really to catch a big one. Who knows what will happen? Let's just get to it. Let's start casting, let's start blasting, let's go. What I've noticed is there's a lot of people coming out and fishing the front of the docks, but they're not fishing the way back, the shallowest part. And that's where I'm plucking fish. And so I think what's happening is they might catch a few on the front, but everybody's fishing the same spot. And then I'm fishing that spot that doesn't get hit as much. And so I'm fishing different fish. That's another trick for you guys is trying to find things that aren't getting fist, fished as much. And sometimes it's as simple as just positioning yourself in different angles and fishing docks from a different direction from other people. Um, but other times it can be a little bit more complex, but fishing for different fish is gonna result, hopefully, in more fish catches for you. When you start fishing the exact same water everybody else is fishing, it obviously is gonna make it a little bit more tough. just missed him again. All right, so this corner, I just swung on one with my 10 inch worm, missed him. Then I threw in like a Ned rig to follow it up and then I missed him again. So at least I know the fish are still shallow. I'm having a hard time. It's been a real, real tough day so far, um, but we're gonna get them now, now that I've kind of figured out what's going on. I just missed a fish off camera. I think these are too small of fish for the 10 inch worm. This lake doesn't have the big ones. Oh, he is. Oh, what, how did I? I broke him off. Did you see that, guys? He just jumped and taunted me after I... How did I break that little fish off? I must have had a kink in my line. Ah, today is not going well, folks. Today is not going well. Let's retie. I didn't have enough coffee this morning. I'm not landing fish. I just broke off. I just need to catch a big one to turn my mood around, folks. Okay, update from the water. It is now raining on me because that's how today is gonna go. I am gonna switch over to a wacky rig and I'm gonna see if I can put that thing to work because Lord knows nothing else is working for me. Today is a tough day. We gotta get this thing going. Let's go. I gotta say, a wacky rig Senko is an absolute classic and especially around docks. It works fantastic. So we're gonna catch a few on this. I was hoping to fish with bigger baits and be a little bit less finesse today, but the good thing about a wacky rig Senko is it'll, it catches big fish as well. He smoked that wacky rig. Let's go. Look at that little fatty. It ain't much, but I'll take her. It took me long enough, but I'm finally on the board. Thing is, is that fish was in like six inches of water. It's so consistent. It's weird, but that's where they all are. Oh, oh, that felt small. Dude, I think the wacky rig might be the trick. It took me long enough to figure it out. If you were to be walking the bank, you'd probably see their fins sticking out of the water. They're that shallow. Holy cow. There he is, biggin. That was absolutely nuts. I saw some bluegill getting chased. Oh, he's barely hooked, barely hooked. Come on, come here. Open that mouth. There we go. Gotcha. Not a bad fish, folks. Oh, man. Holy cow, guys, look at that. What was nuts about this fish is all of a sudden bluegill just started thrashing and he was just chasing them. And then I just dropped my wacky rig in there. Let it sit, let it sit, let it sit. Boom! Big girl came and got it. We'll go ahead and measure this fish just to be, just for fun. It's about 16 inches, even. Not a bad fish at all. So there's an old dock up here that's clearly been destroyed. Gotcha. <laughs> Catching bass off of the ratchet little dock. Well, oh, he's not a very big one, but he's a fish. And I will take a fish. As you know, I like fish. I might take a little picture of you for Instagrams, even though you're just a little bud. Do it for Instagram. Let's release little bud. 
Very nice. This spot looks extra juicy. Looks like some Tropicana juice over here. Woof. Oh my goodness, it is some Tropicana juice. It's a big and he's around the corner. Oh no, oh no. He's not, no. Oh, shoot. No. No. And he stole my worm, that little son of a gun. Dock post, man, not only are they your best friend for fishing, they're also your worst enemy for fishing. Here, Larchy, 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 Larchy. Here, Larchy, Lar. Oh my gosh, I've got him. Oh, goodness gracious. Not too bad. No, why did he spit it? Duh. I'm not entirely sure why that happened, but I'm not exactly amused. Oh my gosh, as soon as I turned off my GoPro, one slurped it. And it's actually, holy cannoli, he's got some freaking fight in him. Why is he fighting so hard? He's not that big, is he? I mean, he's probably a two and a quarter. He's pretty decent. Oh goodness, he's a thrasher, guys. I don't even know if he's two pounds. No, he's not even that big, but he is a fighter. Ow, I feel good. I knew that I would now. Kind of annoyed that I didn't get that hook set on camera because he chose to bite as soon as I turned off my GoPro. You son of a gun. But I tell you what, it was a heck of a ride and I appreciate it. Nom, 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 nom. Gotcha. Don't you come off on me. He came off. He came off. As soon as I said something, he came off. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> of course. Uh, how in the world? <laughs> Why?